hey guys so welcome back to my channel in my previous video we made this sensor that we need to add to the drone and i also explained to you what components you will need uh, for this drone and i had to stop the video because it was getting too uh, long so in this video i will uh, continue uh, making the drone so let's get started yes so we previously made this uh, sensor i explained to you how to solder it uh, which uh, uh, which pin you need to solder so in this video i will just uh, add it so i have just added the arc nano so i'm using a uh, three millimeter uh, screws to uh, fix the sensor in place it's perfectly aligned okay so this is it so this is the sensor in place now you have to make sure that uh, it is perfectly uh, leveled for the sensors to uh, give correct data if you think that it's not leveled you can anytime just screw it a little, a little bit more to make sure that it's perfectly uh, leveled now i will explain to you first how to check that your rf nano is working fine for that you will have to run a test code in your in your uh, computer to see that uh, this rf nano is working fine for that i have all, only one rf nano and uh, I will need another Arduino with an NOF. So instead, I will use the regular Arduino Nano and the NOF, uh, this one. I'll just solder it for, for now to test if this one is working fine. Because for the transmitter, we can uh, test it later. But I will be using these two to test if everything is working fine and if you have to like this you don't need to make any solder you just need uh, to uh, upload the code that i will be sharing and just test it so i will just uh, solder this one first Now the third one is the CE pin. The CE pin I will connect it to uh, pin ten. Now why I'm connect? I'm in my previous video. Uh, in my previous product uh, project, I usually uh, connect it to nine and the CSN to ten. But uh, since in this uh, RF nano, the CE is actually connected to the pin of ten. And the CSN is connected to the pin of 9. So I will do the same for this one so that we don't have any uh, confusion later. So and the ground will be connected to the ground here now i will not be using uh this in the project so that's why i'm uh, i'm making a little mess here if i had to use it in the project i will uh, solder it uh, uh, better but uh, this is only for testing purposes you probably won't need this uh, i actually will need this uh, if you are not using the RF Nano, but uh, the the regular one, then you you must solder it uh, well. Uh, make sure that everything is soldered well and uh, it uh, saves a bit of space. So here is the so wait. Now for the connection, uh, you will need uh, to depend on your laptop. So my my laptop only has a one USB port so i will add the dongle the usb hub here now in this usb hub also there is only one usb type a so i will be using one 
for the transmitter so you will find the circuit diagram for the drone uh, in my website i will be sharing it with you guys and um, yes so this one you will uh, need to upload the receiver test code so i will just connect it right here with my usb and connect it to the port here okay so this one is on and for the other one i will just i'll have uh, there is another usb type c so i will use this uh, uh otg cable here otg adapter here and i will connect it using using the wire from the audio so this one will be connected uh, right there using this usb hub okay so this one will be connected i think i should reverse it because this there is a problem with my usb so yes i think yes so this one is also working so one will be for the receiver and one will be for the transmitter. We will be sending codes to each other and see if it's working fine. So this is the test code for the transmitter. Now you will upload it to one Arduino and you will send it to the receiver to make sure that the NLF is working fine. Now this is not the final uh, code for the transmitter and receiver for the drone. This is only the test. We will be doing this to just test if our NRF is working fine. So for this uh, code, uh, you need you will you will get this code from my website. The link will be in the description below. So just download it and open it. And then uh, for the code, once you open the the code, it will be just like this. Uh, first of all, you will need to make sure that you have the right library installed. This is the LF twenty four library library and if you don't have it you can just install it uh, using the sketch go to sketch include libraries manage libraries and then uh, once this open then search for uh, f24 now once you uh, search for it you will get a list of uh, options you have to download the rf24 by dmrh20 this one and install it now i already have mine installed so i won't be needing it so once you install it uh, you you will have to add the address line now this is very important this is the address that uh, this uh, drone will send and the receiver should have the same address in order to receive the data. So make sure that this one is the same for the transmitter and the receiver also. And uh, for that you can just copy and paste it to the receiver just to make sure that it's the same. Now, so, now uh, next you will have to initialize the C and the CSN pin remember I told you that uh, uh, we sold the CE to the D10 pin on the Arduino and the 9 to the uh, the CSN pin of the NOF so make sure to initialize the C and the, the CSN pin according to yours if you're changing it and then we need to initialize the my data so this will uh, send up to you can send up to 32 byte of data but uh, we will only send one uh, i will uh, just name it the throttle then uh, first you need to make sure that uh, you reset the data for uh, each uh, channel that you're sending but i'm i'm sending only one so i want uh, this is actually uh, for the other code we won't be needing this we will only need one to test so we initialize it to zero and then you just have to set up the radio communication here uh, you will just uh, uh, you won't need to do anything here now in the loop what uh, this i have used it for uh, for uh, 
the transmitter using the joystick we won't be needing this either uh, because we are just sending one data here so this is for the transmitter now we will be uh, we will be uh, uh, changing these values so the data the throttle in the void uh, loop we will be changing it to different values to check if we are sending the data so at first we will i will just uh, make it uh, 80 now then i will uh, upload it to the receiver side of the arduino so i will just uh, uh, upload it to the receiver to the transmitter sorry i made a mistake to the transmitter so this will be uploaded to the transmitter and the transmitter is actually port 5 or oh, let me just check so yes, the transmitter is on port 5. I, I will just uh, remove it to see. So my transmitter will be on port 5. So it is the Arduino Nano and the Atmega 338P. So I will just upload it. So once the code is uploaded in the transmitter, now what you will do is open the receiver. So you just have to open the receiver test code, then make sure to include the libraries in this also. Now you will just need to uh, download and use this file uh, itself. So you won't need to do anything in here and make sure that this is the same as the transmitter for the address uh, pipeline and this also this is the c and the csn pin again uh, same uh, i have used the same as the transmitter because for the rf nano the 10 is the c and the 9 is the csn so this is a c and csn pin and then we initialize, we do some initialization. Remember, I use the throttle in the in the other uh, in the other uh, in the transmitter also. So, so we are uh, sending the throttle data here, and we initialize the throttle. We reset the throttle data to data to zero at first. Then we set up uh, uh, the the radio communication. But first, we need to. Uh, to uh, set up the serial monitor so we i'm using the 900 9600 volt rate for my uh, serial monitor which you can open here i will open it in a while and uh, then we need to receive the data and check if the we are receiving the data so if uh, the data is uh, uh we have not yet received the data for the more than one second so we know that our data we are not receiving data here so then we are printing this data in the serial monitor to check if our transmitter and receiver is working so that means our nrf is working fine so what i will do now is upload this to the receiver side uh, remember i'm using the the RF Nano for the receiver because we will be using this in our uh, DJI drone, uh, DJ, uh, the Telu uh, clone drone. So this one will be the receiver. So I'm, I'm, uh, I will just upload it to the receiver. So this is also Arduino Nano with Atmega uh, 328P, but this one is connected to Pong to Com8. So I will just upload it. So yes, this is uploaded. Now you need to open your serial monitor from here or you can just go to tools and serial monitor. Now here we'll be printing the uh, data. So remember we uh, sent a value of 80 to the, uh, to the receiver uh, using the transmitter code. So here, here is the transmitter code. So this is actually uh, uh, sending the data. So I'll just minimize this so that you can see it better. So this is the transmitter code. This is transmitting the data. 
so if i just i just change this value a bit i will just put it 100 and 100 remember that you can only send from 0 to 255 pwm signal so yes and then i will upload it again to the uh, transmitter the transmitter is on port in on port 5 so i'll just uh, upload it to the transmitter and just see what happens here so you can see it reset itself and then a, a value of uh, 100 is sent to the uh, receiver so this we know that our nof is working fine so if i change it again now I, i'm uploading it to the transmitter remember i'm not up uploading it to the receiver the receiver is just receiving the data and uh, printing it on the serial monitor so if i just change it again to uh, 200 uh, now the reset uh, the resetting of data there you, you will see that at some point it's zero then change to the value because um, remember that the initial value for the total here is zero so when it uh, reset when i upload the the code to the transmitter so the the Arduino is not uh, communicating uh, to the transmitter at that time so it will just go to zero then once it pick up the data from the transmitter it's uh, display it there so i have changed the value to 200 so i will just upload it to the transmitter and see what happens there So it resets itself, then uh, it prints the data out 200. So now we know that our NOF is working fine. Now uh, a lot of you guys have been have told me that uh, the NOF is not working. So you can use this uh, test code to see if your transmitter and receiver is working fine before making any uh, connection to your drone or on another project that you are working fine so this uh, trans this test code is very important to make sure that uh, how your NOI so thank you guys to watch this video now we know that our OF Nano is working fine we are receiving the data now we can just uh, put it in place there now I will not have just shown you how I'm putting it but uh, before putting it we need to make the connection which I will make in my next video which will be on Tuesday. So since uh, everything is working fine we should not have any problem during this uh, uh, project. So I will uh, post the next video next week and hopefully in uh, two more uh, videos the the drone project will be completed so thank you guys for watching if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe and if you like this video push a like or if you don't like it uh, you can push the dislike also you can comment in the video uh, so that i can answer your question hopefully